Good morning from Guam. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I am up way before the sun this morning. I am heading south down to the village of Agate. Going to go to a little bakery down there called Pop's Bakery. That's how we're going to start out the day. We're going to roll on through the rest of the day. I'm going to go to a spot for lunchtime called the Grill Sergeant. Going to load you up with some local favorite barbecue style food. After the Grill Sergeant, downtown to Tumon gonna try some delicious Korean style crispy hot wings. All right, so let's head on down to Agate to Pop's Bakery. Okay, I've made it down here to Agate to Pop's Bakery. Pop's Bakery, they are open at five o'clock. It's just a few minutes after five, so let's get in and see what they got. These guys have a full line, delicious little bakery down here in the sleepy tiny little village of Agate. Here. We're gonna try these out. Again, Pop's Bakery is a local legend, been around forever. I'm gonna dive into my favorite first, the cream cheese roll. The absolutely delicious morning snack here. It's just a little roll like what you'd get on a cinnamon bun, but there's no cinnamon. Instead, it's glazed with a little butter and a little sugar on top. Oh, look at that. I can see the cream cheese already right inside. Little chunks of cream cheese. That flavor of the cream cheese with butter, the bread, the dough that they make this with, just little fluffy, doughy pillows of sugary love. All right, let's dig into this cinnamon twist right here. This is an all-time kid's favorite for breakfast right here. I say kids, it could be anybody. Uh, you could get it for breakfast, dip it in your coffee, have it with a big glass of milk. Let's try this out, look at that. Again, just coated with sugar, cinnamon, you know what, that takes me completely back to my childhood. Growing up in the Midwest, little autumn festival called Riley Days. This reminds me of an elephant ear. Just a doughy pillow of cinnamon and sugar and delicious. Another local breakfast favorite that Pops does are these little, what I would call a pigs in a blanket. They do them in all different types. They do them with a scrambled egg inside. They do them with a chorizo sausage. These look like just a little hot dog. Kids love these, pack them for breakfast, send them to school with your kids. Simple, again, nostalgic, that hot dog, that pigs in a blanket flavor, feel, look. All right, last but not least is the ube bun or the ube roll. And uh, I love these, these are delicious. You can warm them up, you can put butter on them and serve them very simple, very plain. Or you could slice them, and these would make a really cool bun that your guest would go nuts over if you served it with a hamburger, maybe like a blue cheeseburger, and throw this crazy purple bun on it. Again, if you've ever had an ube purple yam, you get those subtle flavors immediately when you eat it. Very good, very traditional, and very delicious. All right, I hope you guys like that breakfast from Pops Bakery. I've got some intel on a brand new place opened up nearby in the Chamorro Village, and it's called the Grill Sergeant. The Grill Sergeant specializes in local traditional barbecue style foods. So let's march on over to the Chamorro Village and seek out the Grill Sergeant. Little new place just popped up called the Grill Sergeant. This is a local combat vet here. He's doing some awesome things. Wednesday special is a little different. Uh, the rest of the week. Today includes a lot of fish. Looks like a lot of crab, what we call here on Guam, Pung Lao crab, cooked in coconut milk. He's got some awesome fried chicken. He's got some squid cooked up to perfection. And something here that we call suni. It's taro that's cut up, kind of what most people would consider like a spinach cooked in coconut milk. Let's go give this a shot and check out the grill sergeant. All right, just about ready to make my order. I think the order I'm gonna go with is the Delta. I like the way he orders these in the phonetic alphabet. The Alpha, the Bravo, the Charlie, the Delta. So I'm gonna go with Delta. Delta is a fried chicken and a squid. I'm also gonna go with the side of shrimp pelagwin. Let's see what this is all about, folks. This is Guam in a plate right here. Fiesta style food. My mouth's watering already. Hi, Derek. Hi, can I get the Delta? The, with the mission, yeah. I'm, with the side of uh, shrimp calicut. With the side of shrimp calicut? Yep. One Delta shrimp Would you like a drumstick or a thigh? Well, let's do a thigh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. 
Thanks, Aaron. Hey, thanks, thank you so much. Hey, thanks okay. for your service, brother. All right. All right, see you. All right, guys, got the goods at the grill, Sergeant. I got me the Delta. That was the plate that has the crispy fried chicken. Looks absolutely delicious. I just see a golden brown chicken cooked here. Uh, it also comes with squid that looks like it's cooked in a, maybe a coconut tomato sauce. Looks absolutely delicious. And each plate comes with a side of rice, Hagen Sunni, which the Sunni is taro that's been cooked with some coconut milk, uh, some other delicious goodies in there. Just, oh, it's so savory, so delicious, so filling. Also got a side of their famed, most sought after shrimp, Caliguin. Caliguin here on Guam is almost like a ceviche. Uh, it's cooked with lemon juice only. It looks like his has some lemon, some green onion. Looks absolutely delicious. Already the chicken crisp is breaking off. Mmm, very fresh. Mm. That is crispy. Very good batter, nice flavor. Taste some black pepper in there. Okay, that was just the crisp. Let me get into the meat here. I got a thigh. Very, very tender. That's good chicken, good thigh right there. All right, let's try out this squid now. This looks absolutely delicious as well. I love squid. That is delicious squid right there. Got some onions diced up. It's a sweet, tangy tomato sauce that comes with it. it does have a little kick. There is a little spice in here. That sweetness may come from a little bit of coconut. Spot on though. All right, I'm gonna dive right into this Sunni. This is one of my favorites. It always has been since I came to Guam. It's a fiesta table staple as well. Taro leaf, been cooked with coconut. I see some onion in here. Let's give this a taste. Oh, that is good. That is very good, that coconut milk. Delicious. All right, let's shovel in into this shrimp caliguin. Cool, refreshing shrimp, citrusy, onion, not really a spice, mild on that level. Very, very good, spot on. All right, I'm gonna give the grill sergeant a big hoorah. That was some delicious food right there. Remember today is Wednesday, that's his menu. He's running a lot of seafood. Actually, it's all seafood except for that fried chicken. The rest of the week, it is pork shish kebabs and more meat related products. If you like what you saw, set your sights on the grill sergeant. His grid coordinates are Chamorro Village. If you come in the main entrance, he is the first kiosk on the right. All right guys, let's get out, explore Guam, find some more delicious food. I'm right down here in the heart of Tumon, Hotel Row, beautiful hotels, beautiful ocean view. I am at Chamorro Barbecue and Seafood. They've got a new option on their menu here. It is a doni chicken. A doni chicken is kind of like a Korean double fried crispy little chicken wings. I'm gonna give these a try. I got the soy, honey, garlic flavor. Seems to be the number one on their menu. And I also got an order of their crispy onion rings. These things come with a side of almost like a banchan, some pickled veggies, and I also got a coleslaw. All right, the food is on its way. Let's try this out. Cool. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thanks. You're welcome. I don't know, these onion rings look too perfect to be homemade. I would bet these are store-bought, frozen style. Still good, still crispy, crunchy. All right, let's try out these wings. These are definitely some honey glaze, a little stickiness to them. Crispy. I mean, I can see them glistening with some sweetness on there. Let's give this a try. They're super hot. I mean, they came out quick. I got the mild version. Still a nice little spice. Good flavor, very sweet. Yeah, that soy gives us a little salty flavor. The city's rank up there really good. There's a couple Korean style chicken places here in Guam. One of my favorite style chickens. I mean, it's a double fry, extra crispy. You can't go wrong with these. Let's try out these pickled veggies. Looks like pickled papaya, some carrot, actual pickled cucumber here. Good crispy crunch, little tanginess, little brininess. It's a good side dish. Those pickles are really good. Let's try out the coleslaw. It's got a good creamy look. Uh, definitely looks like a homemade cabbage coleslaw. I recommend it too as a side. Very good. You can get that or the pickled veggies. I got the extra because I do love coleslaw. 
would highly recommend the Chamorro barbecue and seafood. That doni chicken was absolutely delicious. If you guys liked anything at all you saw in this video today at any of the three spots we went to, Pops, Bakery down in Agate, Grill Sergeant and Aganya, and right here in Chumon, Chamorro barbecue and seafood, please stop by, give them a try. If you like this video, help me out by hitting like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys again next week as we search Guam for some more delicious food. See you.